920. Zach Little, Lettel, and the Rays are at plus 112. Brady Singer and the Royals are at minus 122. Total of 9.5. Another one flat across the board here at minus 110. All right, Corbin, we got to get a couple takes from you here. So yesterday, Kenny accused the Royals of – having some something happening where they're cheating at home. They've got some sort of cheat code at home. Uh, he asked about it here in the chat box as well. We sort of talked about the best record in July. Larry Lesnack says the Royals play a ton of games at home against some bad teams. So if they're really cheating at home or they're playing, like has the market figured this out? Are the Royals cheating? And if they're doing so, how are they doing it, Corby? And then, of course, give us what your uh, play is in this game. Yeah, so first thing on the cheating, um, listen, I, I love some allegations. I think this is the most fun part of baseball. Right. Like finding guys with sticky tack, finding guys with randomly get some extra strength in their bats. It's it's what makes this game fun. I think there's not many sports you can just like openly cheat and everybody like, ooh, maybe he's cheating. But this is one of them. And I, I think it's fun. Unfortunately, I don't think the Royals are cheating. Um, I wish I could come here and say that I did because I genuinely, I think that's hilarious and it would make me like the Royals more because have you heard the videos? Like the pitch com is so loud and obnoxious. Like uh, I can't believe it's not an in-ear thing. Like I, I was watching uh, Trevor Bauer pitch the other day on his YouTube channel. It's like a open, it's like having your phone on like max volume and it'll just be like slider. I would use a megaphone too. like figure out how to, if they're going to openly say the pitch on the mount, I'm figuring out a way to hear that. So do I think they are? No. Uh, and my reasoning would be pretty simple. Like everyone's using the walk rate and strikeout rate. I, I mean, you're talking 16% at home, 21% on the road. Those are still like really good strikeout numbers. I, I mean, the Mar the Mariners are striking out like 27% of the time. Like, I, I understand the, <laughs> yeah. the splits, but the biggest issue with those splits is probably when they're on the road, they're playing worse pitchers. Like I would be, I, I would be curious. I haven't looked it up, but I'd be curious to see who they're playing on the road, like or better pitchers, I guess. I would assume that they're more comfortable at home, which everybody is, and they're probably playing worse guys. And it's such a small sample size that that wouldn't uh, really connect in. But for that, and if we want to just stick with the theory of them cheating, it makes a lot more fun for my bet here. Give me the over nine and a half. I, if they're cheating, we're getting runs. And uh, though I don't think that they are, I, I still think this team has runs. You'll see that in my uh, home run segment. But the one thing that they have done better than not strike out is hit the slider. They are fifth in the league in WRC plus versus the slider. It is basically all Littell has. He has a split finger and it kind of sucks. Um, I think the Royals see him well. I think Bobby Witt is one of the best players in baseball. Uh, and this team is really fun to watch bat. So give me the over nine and a half runs. I made this almost 11, which is like I am never high on these high totals. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm way off here. And that says a lot because my, my raise number is pretty low. Well, Corby Cheeks, let me ask you this, because there is some concern about weather in this game. So does that affect you at all here? There's talking about complex uh, complex of storms hanging around all night. I can see them trying to play on time and working through the rain. But if a heavier batch moves in around first pitch and they need a late start, it could be major trouble. Even if they start on time, there's no promise they can finish. So does that impact you at all in this one? Yeah, I didn't have, let's see, I, I had that the weather was going to force wind out pretty hard. Um, and if it doesn't come, then great. And it, I think the wind helps us. And if it does come, uh, we get the starting pitchers out of the way. Brady Singer, I think we could both, all three say, Brady Singer's a pretty good pitcher. Like, I've talked about this a few times. So so uh, I, I think both ways it helps. If it doesn't throw down, we get wind out at 18 miles an hour. If it does throw down, we get bullpens in a game that they're ready to uh, be done with. So Give me the over, however you want to have you want to play it. B dub, what do we do in this one? In the words of Damian Edwards, he would rather go back to his ex than bet the Rays offense, and I don't blame him. Latell versus Singer, what does a base winner model say? I've got it if you play it, I've got it at minus one oh one. So I guess if you play it, you play the Rays, but this is a no play for me. Uh both pitchers, I I, I agree. Could Corby, both pitchers stuff plus are bad. Their strikeout rates are below average. Uh, this Latell's really, de he's really, I thought he was decent at the start, but based on his numbers, but he's right now in there at 17% worse than an average pitcher. My concern with an over is there, I, I don't really like either team's offense. So just kind of the way I do it, it's, it's base runs created last 500 plate appearances. And I adjust that for park factors too. So I think it's a decent number that I have, and I've got 20, uh, the Royals 24th and the A or the, the Rays 18th rather. Um, 
one of the interesting things we talked about the the home road splits yesterday, but this to me when I was just fooling around on Sunday night looking at at the uh, the FanGraphs leader split leaderboards rather, and I thought it was really interesting. The, the and I don't know what what it, what there is to it whether whether it's more I think it's probably more descriptive than predictive. If you look at their OPS, uh, the Royals that is. Uh, in the first five innings, they're at 669, which is 27th in baseball. And then the last, you know, from the sixth inning on, the last part of the game, they're at 759 OPS, which is second in baseball. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. And it's perplexing. And I, I, I think I'm just, just I, with this Royals team, I'm so opposed to the market. I can't believe that that, I still can't believe that they're priced as the favorite to have the most wins in July. I, I, on what planet? With the 24th best offense in baseball. Like, okay, whatever. Royals hater, B-Dub here. And we got to remind you guys, get out and vote on the chat pool. There's only 30 votes right now. You guys want to have a chat play of the day. You want to have your voice heard, get out there and vote. And then, of course, head over to betustv.com slash join and get in on the action. For purposes of the show here, we are locking in the over nine and a half runs for Corby here out in Kansas City, and we're going to take that at minus 110.